Welcome all. This is Magic Missile Games, and I am Reistable. I'd like to thank you for joining in. Please give us a like because I'm going to post this on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe, ring the bell so you can see the other videos I'm uploading. Today we are playing Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. This is a brand new game. Um, I did pre-create a character, so it's I'll be kind of a step ahead of the game. Except, so let's do it. We are going to do core D&D rules. I'm not going to play Insane or anything else like that. Just D&D rules. Um, I do hope you enjoy, but there's going to be some movies to watch here, so let's get it on. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty mm. halls under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. All right. So here we are in Candlekeep, my first quest. Um, Grind my foster father has informed me I need to get ready and meet him. I didn't really discuss what my character is or what I've done here. So this is, I created a mage, and this should not be this level of experience, but that's okay, we're going to keep rolling with it. Um, the, uh, create a mage, not much strength, but everything else I tried to kind of focus on giving this guy a little bit more. I am lawful evil as, of course, I am lawful evil. But, let's start this off. I just realized that I imported a character with previous items and all of this, so this is going to be a little bit interesting. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Well, uh, hello there, young one. Come visit the young... Come visit your old pal Winthrop, have you? Well, don't forget the 10,000 gold piece book entrance fee to Candle Keep for custom, don't you know? Hmm... What a jerk. That's outrageous. What kind of fool do you take me for? Stuff your in and stuff your company. Well, I fear you have spent too much time around those stiff-necked monks mistaken and mistaken my attempt at humor for a serious demand. Perhaps the thought that I should change, should charge for your company. Any child of Gorion is more than welcome in my inn, so is there anything I can do for you? Some drinks, a room, a sleep, or anything to buy? Well, it looks like I've already got some items, so I'm going to go back and delete all of these items here soon enough. I'll just kind of continue on the game, but we'll keep exploring. I'm going to skip over a lot of the tutorial sections here. Ah, yes, I'm back within the hollowed hells of Candlekeep. With this iron crisis upon us, 
the trip from Bergus was more hazardous than I care to relate. You're Gorion's ward, aren't you? My, have you come to your own? If you would permit an old man jealous of youth to say, Hmm, I left the identify scroll with Tefril in the inner grounds. You should be done examining it by now. If you could fetch it to me, I'd be grateful. So, off to go fetch that. There he is, running away. Come here. Come here. Get back here. Oh, come on. Firebeard has sent me, hasn't he? Very well. Return the scroll to him. But then you must hurry to speak with Gorion. He's awaiting you on the steps of the Central Library. I assure you, child, it is a matter of the greatest urgency. Excellent. We got that, so we'll return back to the inn. Because I've already got this scroll, I think I'm going to skip the option of um, stealing it, because I'm assuming it's already in my... Yeah, I've got quite a few spells already, so... Fine, we'll go ahead and turn into him. It's hard to find decent folk nowadays. I am glad to see you. See that that age has hardened your hearts towards the old man such as myself. I'll take all of your identify scrolls. I have great for use of these types of scrolls. You allow me to cast a little spell on you. It will protect you from any evil um, you might meet tonight. Perfect. Given that, that I'm fairly well equipped, I'm going to go ahead and start just rolling into the adventure. We're walking, 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 walking. So much walking in this game. This is why I'm going to skip through a lot of the tutorial. It basically teaches you how to play the game, sets you up with a couple of people that are trying to kill you. I'm surprised that, that stuffy old grind lets you away from your studies and chores. That old fiddle faddle. I, I snuck off too. Old Puff Guts, Winthrop, was looking for me. But I've had all day to do his chores. You have time to time for a story today? No, I can tell you don't. What have you been up to? I'm sorry, child, but I but I am not to tell anyone where I'm what I'm doing. I must go. You should not tarry about either. Winthrop will want those beds turned down after the you're done in the stables. Yeah, housekeeping, fun stuff. If you say so, you're puckered up. You you sure picked up from a lot from Gorion. He never tells it straight, neither. Good luck on your trip, or I mean, good luck on whatever you're doing. Sounds like you've been nosing around, or you shouldn't have. Stay out of my business, if you please. Well, that's Krusty Rude of uh, Krusty Rude, you rum duke. Fine, I'll stay here and mind my own biz beeswax. You better get going. Don't want to keep Mr. G waiting. Moving on. Oh, my child, I am glad I have found you. This is very unnerving, I know, but you must trust me. It is very important that you pack your possessions so that we can leave Candle Keep immediately. Hurry, for there is no time to tarry. The keep is well protected, and, but not invulnerable. 
I'm ready to go now. Yes, I know I don't have spells memorized, but Listen, Captain, it'll be okay. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. I know, Lord, yes. that's a... That's a word and a half. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. Explain everything as soon as there is time. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. Oh no! Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unheard. I'm sorry that you feel that way, old man. Run, child. Get out of here! Run away! Run away! I'm trying to kick some ass. Well, that's the end of that. Especially cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed. You saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. All right. Hey, uh, it's me, Emily. Okay, sorry I followed you, but I never got out. I never got out of candle keep, and those monks are such a bore. Never any decent coin in their pockets, neither. I saw Goliath, or I am so sorry. I kind of figured something was up. Something bad might happen to you out here. How could you have known? Goliath didn't even tell me. I accidentally read the letter on your desk on his desk the other day can't remember exactly what it said but i still have i but i but he still might try that again but he might still have it might be his be on his his body anyways i'm not gonna let you wander around out here alone Never let a friend down. No, sir. Stick with you until you say otherwise. I will. Fair enough. I'm going to make one adjustment to the audio. Let's sound effects and ambient down. And then voice volume up. All right. Return to game. So, what I need to do is get to the Friendly Arm Inn. But let's go investigate Garion's body. Let's see what he's got on him. Let's see here. 
No, I didn't mean to do that. Inventory. Boy, I got a lot of stuff on here. Loud killing everything. My friend Grime, please forget the abruptness with which I now write, but time is short and there is much to be much to be done. What we have long feared may soon come to pass, though not in the manner foretold, and certain certainly not in the proper time frame. As we both know, forecasting these events have has provided increasingly difficult leaving little option other than a leap of faith we have done what we can for those in thy care and the time nears when we must step back and let matters take what course they will we have perhaps been a touch too sheltering in this at, to this point Despite my desire to remain neutral in this matter, I could not, in good conscience, leave, let this event proceed without some measure of warning. The other side will uh, move very soon. I urge thee to leave Candlekeep this very night, if possible. The darkness may seem equally threatening, but moving, but a moving target is much harder to hit regardless of my sparse uh regardless of how sparse the cover a fighting chance is all that can be asked at this point should anything go awry do not hesitate to seek aid from travelers along the way i do not need to remind thee that it is a dangerous land even with even without or our current concerns the party and a party is a stranger than an individual in all respects. Should additional assistance be required, I understand that Jahira and Khalid are currently at the friendly arm end. They know little of what has passed, but they are ever thy friends and will no doubt help however they can. Luck be with us all. I'm getting too old for this. E. All right, who is this mysterious person called E? Yes, I know I left a lot of the items along the way. I'm going to kind of continue along with the storyline. Walking, 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 just to kind of advance things. A little bit later on in the game, I'll probably be a little bit more careful about this. Oh, there, Wanderer. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. It has been nigh unto a ten days since I've seen a soul walking this road, and, and I've been without decent conversation since. Traveling nowadays appears to be the domain of either desperate or de or the deranged. If thou wilt pardon my intrusion, may I inquire which pertains to thee? Let's see. Not to imply anything, but how do you measure up to your own stanzers? Pestering strangers about their mental state doesn't seem all that well adjusted to me. Point well taken. Thou hast answered my query most adequately. I shall thank. I shall think of thee as determined instead. I shall trouble thee no more, as thou art more than capable of the task at hand. North is the friendly arm in, where I am certain thou shalt find trustworthy friends awaiting. I have said too much and taken too much time from thee. Bear thee well. Crazy old man. This is gibberling. Of 
Coast Way, Friendly Arm Inn to the north, Burgess to the south, Bergoss to the south, Lions Way to uh, west to Campbell Candle Keep. We'll keep following the road along. At least make it to the Friendly Arm Inn today, and then I may call an episode and play this again in the near future. Well, Hello, Mikey Pat. Gill, if you don't mind, please don't, please keep your voices down. There are, keep your voices down. There are beasties about with better hearing than we. You seem quite at home here. What's the most dangerous thing you've seen? No, sorry we've disturbed you. I'll be on my way. I did not intend for my words to scare you away. They were simple warnings of dangers true and meant as nothing more. The occasional chat is certainly welcome, but perhaps today is just not the day for it. The denizens of, the, of this wood seem to have grown rather aggressive lately, as gruesome as it sounds. They probably become accustomed to humanoid meat. Uh, can't really blame them, though. Too many people lost their means uh, to iron, the iron shortage and have turned to the land for substance. Monsters and animals must find food somewhere. I'd keep your weapons at the ready as you travel. But to your comment, Mikey Gill, that was not just Mr. E. That was someone rather special. Um, kind of um, out of game context, there's a cheat code that allows you to kill anything. Of course, that's so loud. But uh, there's a cheat code that allows you to kill anything within the game. He is actually immune to that cheat code. So once we get going, I am going to use one of the cheats to kind of help process the storyline a little bit quicker and that will be um allow me to jump hi, in directions hi friend i've seen you i've not seen you here before today what brings you the friendly arm let's see here i'm here to meet some friends oh you must be you must be whom I am to meet them. I will take you to your friends, but first I should sure, I should be sure you are the correct person. Is your name Reistable? Sorry, but no, I don't think you're the person I'm supposed to meet. Really, I would beg to differ. You fit the description. So I think it would be safe to assume you are the one I seek. Don't move, I have something for you. And there he's going to attack. So, we're gonna move back there. And focus my fire. Yes, later on I'm gonna remove a lot of these items. But, for right now, we're just gonna take care of him. I feel so cold. Just kind of balance out the game. All right, so Bounty Noah, be it known to all those evil of evil intent that a bounty has been placed upon the head of Reistable, the foster child of Gryan. 
last seen in the area of Hanoki. This person is to be killed in quick order. Those returning with proof of the deed shall receive no less than 200 gold coins. As always, any that reveal these plans to the forces of law shall join the target in their fate. Dum, dum, dum. And Imowen is wandering around somewhere lost. I care not. I don't think that was a chaos spell, but it was maybe a fear. I'm not sure what happened, but. Whatever it was, it was not cool. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. I can't stand the way the roads are cut off these days. Me uncle's in Baldur's Gate, and I can't get there to see him. How come the roads are cut off? Where you been the past few months? The roads are crawling with brigands and bandits. After every scrap of iron you got on the... Surely you must have fled some of our... Surely you surely must have fled some on your trip here. Lest you came by the west road, that is. Well, for this... Well, for your sake and mine, I hope the roads clear up soon. I'll see you around. Well, I'm... I sure ain't going nowheres. Alright. Let's see here. How long must we wait here? Things stir to the south as we sit. Good day, friend. You're the child of Gryan, are you not? I apologize. You, I, I recognize you from the letters. He writes of you often. Forgive my manners. I am Jahira, and this is Khalid, my husband. G -g Good day. Good to know you. We are old friends of your adopted father. He is not with you. I assume the worst. He would not permit his own his only child to wander without accompaniment. If if he's has passed, we share your loss. Gryan often said that he worried for your safety, even at the expense of his own. He also wished that Khalid and I would become your guardians if he should ever meet an untimely end. However, you are much older now, and the choice of your companions should be your own. We could travel with you until you get settled, help you find your lot in life. It would, it would be fitting last service to Gorion, though we should first go to Nashkel. Khalid and I look into local concerns and there are rumors of strange happenings in the mines no doubt no doubt you've heard of the iron shortage you would go you would do well to help us it affects everyone including you we are we are to meet the mayor of the town baron gas kiln your company would be welcome well good we'll leave soon as you you're ready though it should be soon all right yeah and she's gonna heal some people and i think what i'm gonna do is call this an episode i have been restable with magic missile games this is kind of the first start of it I'm going to go back in and kind of do some tweaks to make the game more balanced where I don't have cloud kill and other crazy spells like that in my repertoire um, and a million gold pieces or how many ever magical items I've got. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed. Give us a like, subscribe, be sure to ring the bell. And uh, also, um, on a side note, 
Tonight, I will be playing Alien Isolation at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. So please tune in to view that. And as always, keep on gaming.